Mae Jemison, A Journey to the Stars, story of the first African-American woman to reach space. Beads of sweat are running down my face. My stomach feels queasy. I sense my anxiety creeping in. Am I ready to do this? My parents always encouraged me to act curiously, think innovatively, and ask questions. Science has always been a big part of my life. I would end up reading books on astronomy just to know more. Science is a subject with endless opportunities because you can always question a topic you have learned. But science wasn't the only thing that interested me. I learned a variety of dances like ballet, jazz, modern, and traditional Japanese dance. Both my love for the arts and the sciences were undeniable. Mom, guess what I got on my science test? I opened the paper to see my grade. An A+, plus, I exclaimed. All my hard work paid off. Will I even get accepted? My heart was racing. I opened the envelope. It read, Dear Miss Macy Jemison, we want to offer you a spot in our space training for the upcoming mission. I took my first step into NASA. My anxiety went away as I was taken by the view. What I was seeing was far above amazing. Everywhere around me were electronics I had never seen before. I could hear a meeting going on, probably about a new shuttle plan. The liveliness and focus made me feel so excited for the next six months I would be here. As I stepped into the spaceship, I told myself that I was qualified for the mission. I would be the first African American woman to enter space even though I was not the first woman of color to have the skills, the talent, or the desire to be involved. But yet, I felt a sense of pressure that I had to do everything right or else I would let everyone down. As I sat down in my seat, I took deep breaths to be prepared for the mission ahead. Being in space has many qualities to it. I am not afraid, instead I am very thrilled to explore an unknown realm. I look out the window and notice the earth, the sun, and the stars glisten. The view is magical. I see a shimmering glow around the earth which makes me feel a greater respect for the planet we live on. The glow seems to display strength, but also gave me the motivation and confidence to continue my journey. When I was a little girl, I always said that if E.T. lands in my backyard, I'm going up in space. And I guess that happened. 